The second time I visited NRMA ChargeFox Boambi Fast Charger near Coffs Harbour, I got a good charge and there were no problems. However, the same didn't occur on the first occasion and the only reason I got a good charge on the second try was because no one else was next to me. I'll explain more. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. ChargeFox Boambi used to be two unreliable 350 kilowatt tritium chargers. Now it's one new 270 kilowatt ABB charger, which is kind of one step forward, one step back, to be honest, because the first time I visited on a Sunday afternoon, as you saw there, there was a BMW waiting and there were already two other cars charging. So the wait could easily have been half an hour to an hour or more because BMWs often get free charging on ChargeFox network. So they might have wanted to charge to 100% for all I knew. So I left and I came back the next day on Monday morning instead. Thankfully, I didn't have to share the charger with anyone else because some cars charging there have reported pretty slow speeds when two cars are charging at the same time. Again, it is very disappointing that NRMA replaced two chargers that were quite fast with one charger that's sort of fast. It's okay if you use it by yourself like I did, but it's not really great if you have to share it. Anyway, I plugged the CCS2 cable into my EV5 media loan air long range and topped it up starting from 48%. And I'll show you how fast it charged along the way. I'll speed that up so it won't take too much time. And I, my aim was to go to 80% so we could drive to the waterfall way and see some awesome scenery during the day and come back with a decent amount of charge left. The waterfall way has a big altitude climb, so I didn't want to run out of battery partway through as there aren't really any super fast chargers along that route. The charging rate started at about 80 odd kilowatts and it moved up to about 125 kilowatt peak charging rate at about 55%. And then it started tailing off and getting a bit slower. This is completely normal. All electric cars speed up the charge rate as they fill the battery up to a certain point and then slow down as they get towards 80%. The BP service station where this charger is located has several takeaway shops, including McDonald's and toilets. In the charging area, you're surrounded by bins and industrial equipment. It's not the most brilliant place to hang around in. As we approached 70% of the battery being full, the charge rate dropped below 70 kilowatts and just managed to stay above 60 kilowatts by the time the car reached 80% at which point I stopped the charge. As you can see on the car display, it would have taken another 24 minutes to charge the last 20% of the battery up at this fast charger. It's totally not worth doing that because it takes so much time for hardly any range gained. And you'd also be blocking the charger most likely for someone else to use. And let's see how much it costs. And it totally cost $19.79 for just under 30 kilowatt hours and it took 20 minutes and we were on our way to go and explore. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.